Welcome back everybody, Dren608 Plays. We're playing Milestone 2 of Xenonauts 2. Um, it just dropped here in December. We're at uh, 2.20 for Milestone 2.20. Uh, They've done some patches and things of things that we found with lots of gameplay. Uh, one of the things I forgot to do was go hire myself a couple more soldiers, which was dumb. Uh... Lousy accuracy, but great strength. It's so very hard to find good recruits. You really want to stay away from people who have red numbers, if at all possible. Because they just take forever to get themselves up. Um, but you do need to get people with decent strength. Reflexes isn't too bad if you're not going to use them for reflex fire. You should always make sure they, you know, take their shots. Uh, oh, damn. This is a... From Sweden, Uli Solberg. He doesn't have a lot of hit points, but... And the greatest accuracy, but lots of time units and lots of strength. I can make him an assault. Down the line. Because you don't need accuracy to use a shotgun that well. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna grab Ollie there. Uh, terrible strength. Not a lot of time units, but I think we'll go ahead and grab Paul Lucas again because of his strength. It means I can keep him in better armor. All right, or recruit them. Notice it costs more to recruit soldiers. It costs twenty thousand per per guy. It's also going to cost more to uh, maintain them. Uh, and then if you go into here, in the engineering research section, you still don't have a lot that you can do, okay? However, in the research section, as soon as he gets done with the situation analysis, we now have autopsy of a cleaner agent. We can interrogate the cleaner agent. And you, it says you get a reward from our funding regions, but I don't think we do. I don't think this text is correct anymore. <laughs> Um, and then we can build combat vehicles, which is the, the Mars. And aerial warfare is the one that you get additional air-to-air weapons. Basically, this is going to let you build your Sidewinders and your uh, torpedo thing. So this gives you missiles. So that's going to be the next one I do, and then after that I'll probably do combat vehicles, depending on what else we get to come up. And other than that, we don't have... Uh, I do have, he's still there at hit points. If I get something that comes up, I probably will tr uh, trade him out and put somebody else in his place. All right. What's my, no what am I? Oh, the heavy armor is what's doing me in. Okay. So I only have an accuracy of like, and plus three, minus three. My accuracy is uh, 37 for this guy. So, you know, he's a assault guy that just doesn't have a lot of accuracy. Which is, you know, very annoying. So that's the way that goes. Okay, we're going to go out to the Geoscape, Geoscape screen. Uh, once again, this is a playthrough of Milestone 2, Xenonauts 2. I am playing on what I call Everyman difficulty. Uh, this is our funding report right now. Um, I could build a new base, but they cost a lot of money. So we're going to just let time pass here. Um, if you like what you see here, hit the thumbs up building button and, uh, really like what you see. Angel one is fully revealed. I'm confused. When did Angel one ever leave? I don't remember Angel one ever leaving. But okay, we're just going to speed up the world here to try and get to the next thing. 
Got the bad flames building that. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's what I was waiting for. Situation analysis. Uh, this is pretty much the same as it was. Uh, I think the text is almost exactly the same as it was in the first milestone. Basically, uh, cleaners started taking interest. I'm going to dig into them. We still don't know that they didn't appear the clockwork. We have to turn in race evidence, including unfortunate eyewitnesses. I'll let you know if I discovered anything else. Uh, so she's going to put military experience rather than covert experience. I guess that's what she's supposed to be. Uh, primary goal is to learn enough about extra else to figure out how to defeat the invasion. Finally, develop plans to rob your track. Finally, and start conducting missions against them. Chief scientists are dilated to look at any external corpses or alien equipment you can bring back to base. If you're lucky, you might even be able to reverse engineer some of it for our own use. Please resist the temptation to strangle the man with his own lab coat. We need him for the war effort. He's quite literally a genius, and we couldn't replace him even if we tried. Trust me on this. Your final task will be to increase our funding and expand our organization so we can protect the entire planet. As regions are bound to fall under alien control if we leave them undefended for too long, but I'll let you work on the details there. Let's get started. Huh? So, expand our budget and protect the planet. Yeah, okay. Sign research, yes. Uh, I was going to go ahead and get aerial warfare going right away. So just get that going. I want to get my missiles. Because I'm going to show you how missiles get built for those of you that didn't see my other uh, short series on various pieces of Milestone 2. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything else for me to do. Just pass some more time. This should be day three. Okay, I don't think there's anything for me to actually do here. I don't think there's anything else for me to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my engineers earn $250 an hour just to help pay some of the maintenance costs while I wait for this to get done. Because after four days, I'm going to want to build some missiles. So. And even uh, sooner than... Yeah. And shortly after ten days, I'm going to want to build another aircraft. So I'm going to need to build some weapons and then another aircraft. Okay. Let's go here. Pass more time. I got my two new people here. Okay. Sign them roles as needed. Uh, I thought stuff happened sooner than this. Guess not. See, slowly but surely you're getting a percentage point for doing absolutely nothing, which... Again, I don't think it should be like that. There we go. Aerial warfare. Even air defense systems are largely ineffective against the super technology. Various reasons for this, but the more most alien craft can be fiendishly difficult to detect. The only reason our organization is capable of tracking because of his radar thing. Entirely blind to the gathering threat. Yet, even if we were to share our tracking data, most modern fighter jets would remain useless. Without a solid fix on the UFO, they would be unable to lock missiles. Similarly, attempting to employ cannons would simply bring them within range of the power beam effect generated by the discharge of an alien energy weapon. Our X-25 Angel interceptors are adapted from the venerable MiG-25 Foxbat. This aircraft has electronic systems hardened to withstand the MP from a nuclear blast, allowing our pilots to freely engage UFOs with short-range cannons. My recent research has now unlocked further combat options. I've managed to integrate the short-range quantum radar carried by our interceptors with the guidance systems of two common types of missiles. And that's why you have to research it now, because he actually has to do the research to make these missiles work. Lighter missiles highly maneuver and fitted with a high-explosive warhead designed to shower a target with deadly shrapnel. The heavier torpedo is far slower, but employs a powerful shaped charged warhead capable of penetrating shattered enemy armor. Both are now available at construction or engineering workshop. Okay. Let me sign research pocket. We're gonna go. Let's see what day we're on. Day eight. This would take me to 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So let's go get combat vehicles, shall we? Uh, one of the reasons why everybody says don't bother. I say you want to have them because it's um, it's a cheap soldier. It's a 
Soldier who you don't lose experience for if you get it if it gets blown up. Because the Mars thing can't gain any experience. Personally, I think the pilot of your dropship should gain experience and therefore his use of the Mars does until the Mars gets destroyed. And then when the Mars gets destroyed, it has to start over because now it's a new machine and it doesn't have all the little quirks that he learned from the last one. I think that would be a neat way to uh, incorporate the pilot of the ship. When you get a new ship, you want to transfer that pilot to the new ship and maybe put a new guy in the old ship kind of thing. But we haven't gotten that far yet. We're working on uh, Okay, he's doing that. And now these guys, now we can actually build aircraft weapons. All right, so we're going to build a Sidewinder. We're going to build two of those. And we're going to build two of those. So that'll be for about five days. Which, if you look at the base... Yeah, I'll just about get done with the weapons, and then I can start on building an aircraft. So that's going to come out about just about right. Okay, that's what we were looking for. Um, just passing time. I'm supposed to find a probe here, I think. I'm supposed to get an alien probe aircraft that I can go try and shoot down so I can show you how that works. But I'm not seeing one. And an alien abduction site comes up first. Way over in North America. Oh, that's a long way. If we get up there, we'll take North America down from 25 to 15. If we don't get up there, it'll go up to 45. So we're going to want to do that. Um, so we want to close this and get to here. Everybody's just about filled up. Do I want to take him in at 87%? He only has 49 health. But he does have a 64 accuracy. Um, one of the guys I just hired, was it Oli? He had terrible accuracy. Was it Paul Lucas? Has terrible accuracy. So both of these guys were like replacement. This guy has really good accuracy, but uh, no time units. She's even worse. Or she's way overweight. Because <laughs> she has, like, no strength. Okay, she's got to go. I think I have to get rid of that one. He's got the same problem. No weight. No strength. So he's got to... He can lose that. He's fine. She, even if she loses that, she's still way over. So she's kind of useless. Good for base defense, I guess. Um, 12 loaded, 16. Barely fits in that. Uh, let's make a new one. We'll call this uh, we'll just call her SMG. You know, icon should I give an SMG? Give him a triangle. Alright. She's basically a medic. She runs around with an SMG for for defense and just tries to run up on people. Let's see. If she's plus two. 
Minus 14. It shouldn't be minus 14 anymore. Okay, let's check someone else. Yeah, now she's up to 43 time units. Sky is still off. Still off a little bit, but okay. So these guys aren't that much better than what I've got, so I guess we'll go in with a wounded guy. All right. Let's try and go in with a wounded guy and see if we can get over here. Launch the combat team. Away we go. Uh, what's my time? 15 minutes. I'm not going to get this done. Oh, this is going to be a short one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the site. And I wanted to show you this just as a reminder. This still works. Once you've lost the aircraft, you can go and you actually can click on the Skyhawk and you can put your guys where you want them. So I can go back to what I originally want, which is each of these guys in the door, a backup for either one of them, and then the main group is up here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to speed us up a little bit, get out to that mission, and then I'm going to cut it here a little bit short probably about 20 minutes or so and then we will do the mission in the next video okay are we gonna yeah 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 i just want to get there before the night's gonna catch up to me before i get there <laughs> i make it i made it all right so we will land us down here so we can take a look at the land and then we'll come back to fight next time so this one's only going to be what, 17 minutes long? Basically just stuff that happens that you have to take care of on the Geoscape. You know, the base building and all that kind of stuff. Hiring people. You always want to pick up a couple more soldiers because early on here we have like next to no armor. Find the two best soldiers you can each time. Uh, anytime you lose one permanently, you try and find the next best soldier that you can put in there and just go and do that. So I have to get at least five civilians before the timer expires. Uh, you lose if you don't do that, or you, all my guys are eliminated. You stand adjacent, you can just right click it. It's worth two alien alloys, which I have no idea what that is. Mission will not end automatically if all hostiles are killed, allowing you to open more abduction tubes. So we can kill all the hostiles right away, you can just go grab more tubes. But that usually doesn't help. So I'm picking up extra actual activity in the area. Signals match the detected or anything on the suspected abduction events. Scott the area if there's any extra reason to eliminate them. The energy readings are rising fast. We may not have much time until the aliens depart. Best free any captured locals as quickly as possible then. God knows what the aliens will do to them otherwise. They'll turn them into zombies and make them come and attack us. And we have an alien right out the door. Right there. Oh, I hate this one. I hate this layout. I hate this layout. I hate this layout. This is such a this ant layout because there's like three of them over here and there's like two of them over here in this area and then there's like three more way up here that you can just never quite get to <laughs> because they're so freaking far away if you run up there you just are asking to get shot anyway we're going to put a, put a pause in here we're at 18 minutes almost 19 um, if you like what you see hit the thumbs up button if you really like to see go ahead and subscribe and hit the notify bell be notified to upload videos under scheduled streams. We're going to have to deal with this alien who's going to be a crack shot because these sectons or sectoids or whatever they are, they're all crack shots for some reason. It's like they can't miss. Um, they have some kind of ridiculous accuracy level, and I don't have that, so I'm going to be in a lot of trouble trying to take care of them. All right? All right, well... I'm Gen608. When we come back, we'll see if we can get through the abduction mission without getting too many people killed. Shall we? Alright, I'm Gen608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.